right, guys. <clears throat> it's Jim Bounds with Co-op Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch. And for sale. When you say for sale, oh, here we go. Now you got the horse trader, the mule trader, all working together. Who gets the best deal? It's just terrible. I hate that. These things need a home. They shouldn't be quibble over. They should be loved. And if somebody sells it and it's a fair price, you should give them their price. You should buy them dinner, let them have their GMC experience end well, and yours start well. Okay? You say, well, you're going to buy something, you want to buy the cheapest price you can. Well, maybe, but that may not be the way to buy a GMC. It needs to be well kept, maintained. It needs to be someone's daughter. And you need to start being the new steward for his daughter. Because that's what it's going to be. If you don't do that, every time, guy tells me, every time I get in the motorhome, there's something wrong with it. My answer, get in it more, brother. Get more use out of it. It is always going to break. They're either driving or they're braking. Sometimes, same time, okay? So, for sale. Now, what's a motorhome worth? It's worth is whatever somebody's willing to pay for it. But you need to understand what it what it costs the expense the investment to have a gmc that really works that's really nice okay all right we have we have all the coaches in our queue right now okay there's nothing under a hundred thousand dollars and that's mostly just the mechanicals i mean my dad told me something once. He said, you know you're getting old when you can't justify the price of new stuff. All right? I can't believe what a pickup truck costs today. That's just how it is. That's what things cost. These motor homes, they take an investment. And you have to keep it up to date or what do you got? You got a big turd. Okay? Now, this coach, I know this coach. I've known this coach for 25 years. I've known it through three owners so far. And each owner made this coach to what they wanted, all right? I built this for, at the time, the Secretary of Agriculture for the state of Florida. And his idea was, if GM made it today, what would they do? They would have small, metallic, light colors, neutral colors. They wouldn't have paint on stripes. GM doesn't do that. They would put stick on this is a graphics package we had made. This is a stick on graphics, the same way GM would do it. LED lights, of course. You know, bumper fills to make the bumper don't, uh, not stand out so far. And guess what? This is three process chrome. Absolutely. He's got those windows, the toll booth windows that we made. Full set of frameless windows. Why? Because they look good. Okay, all the lights outside are LED, nice paint job. The name of this thing is Mr. Clean. Why is that? Because it's nice and clean, okay? Now, this is the outside. There's three things. There's interior, exterior, and mechanical. Let's go inside and let's talk interior a minute. And keep this in mind as we look. I would call this a standard. This is for sale for $95,000. I could not build this motorhome today for $150,000. So what is it worth? If you say you want me to build this motorhome, it's going to take two out two years to get to it because our queue is 31 coaches. And it's going to be easily $150,000. So what is this coach worth used? You tell me. Let's go look at the interior. Hey guys. All right, so this is the interior, Mr. Clean. Pretty dang clean. Got a Mac dash, double din radio, all the gauges, new seats, TV in the back of the seats, carpet. This, this front arrangement is kind of interesting. This sofa, you see it's got a center console folds out. These fold down. This makes a big bed. The whole thing's a big bed. This comes off. All right. You can watch TV. 
it has full complement of you know computer stuff watch anything you want has a water cooled Honda generator in it induction cooktop these are MDF vacuum formed cabinet doors and drawers a, con a nice uniform look microwave this is a GM floor plan we kept the floor plan the same this is a wrap coach in other words well this is a new cabinet this is a 12 volt uh, only nor cold refrigerator wanted a little bit more storage he was actually using this more of a travel machine as a camper so he just needed enough place for a pop and you know something like that um, but everything's clean everything's finished off this is a nice coach on the interior all right this is a nice coach yeah as far as mechanicals goes here i tell you what let me sit down here and let's talk about that yeah mechanicals it's a 455 it's fuel injected aluminum tank quad bag system all new brakes front suspension i mean all of it you know it's got the whole the whole nine yards everything you can see the dash is beautiful okay this thing's up to date this is this i would call a quality coach and this is in the caliber of a hundred thousand dollars and above it's the package a lot of times you'll see a guy that's a hot rodder and all his mechanicals are awesome but the thing looks like a junkyard that's kind of like mine uh, you've got to have all of it you have to have interior you need to have the exterior and then you need to make the rocket have good mechanicals okay if you have all of that and it's real pretty it's worth a hundred thousand dollars to somebody because that's it would cost more it would cost 50 percent more just to build it today labor costs material costs and time we're at two years all right now I mean you, you, you know after watching this you may say god I don't want to invest a hundred thousand I understand that but when you get done when it's done when it's nice now mine has p51 sharks teeth on it and is painted to match my mo sidecar motorcycle that's not going to this caliber and if that's what you're looking at that's fine but they all need mechanicals they all need mechanicals right that's the thing that we're going to be focused on at co-op are the mechanicals having to do with the GMC interiors and exteriors you know we'll we'll be getting back into that but it's the mechanicals every coach even if it looks like a third <laughs> has to run right so you need to think about it when you buy a used coach so you buy one for 15 that's, that's fair a survivor you know 15 maybe 20 you figure immediately you're gonna to have to go through all the mechanicals and it's really not like a a la carte like man this month I'll do the brakes listen dude you can't go anywhere without good brakes and it won't go anywhere with with no motor you gotta have it all at the same time and the mechanicals you have to figure when you buy one the cash price you're gonna to have to put all the mechanicals in if not okay uh, guy has a car bag. Okay, you can knock twenty five hundred dollars off. Uh, he got new tires. Well, that's another thousand dollars. So to find the value of a coach, bounce it off a benchmark. And this this I would call, I would call a benchmark. Now we're not making anything for a hundred thousand dollars. It's impossible. You're a hundred and fifty and above. Uh, yeah, it's pretty scary, isn't it? Say, so, guy, I just wanted to buy an old motorhome and have fun. Well, you can do that. Still going to have to have mechanical, so. All right. Well, look, I hope this helps clear it up for guys that want to buy these. They're great. They're fun. You don't have to go to the bars anymore. Uh, for somebody who wants to sell them, they do have value. But don't look at just the value. Look at trying to keep that motorhome alive. Find someone that's going to treat it as well as you did. 
because they're worth it. This is, this is a worthwhile endeavor. That's why we're here. And that's why Motorhome Rehan Ranch is here. That's why we're on YouTube. That's why uh, Co-op Motorworks uh, is, is here. We want to keep these coaches going. We want them to perform as good today as they did back then. All right. All right. Well, look, if you want any questions about that, if you're looking to buy one or something like that, you know, maybe give me a call. You know, I'll look at it. But don't, you know, don't send me 25 pages and say, hey, will you look at it? No. Let's, give me a call. Let's see what you're looking at. Okay. There are no bad investments unless you buy it with a bullet hole inside of it. I mean, you know, there are, everything can be done. You got to understand that. $1,000 motorhome? Ooh, I like it. All right. See you later.